Hello, scrappers. Tonight, I'm going to be scrapping this. This is a Toshiba DVD video player. Look how old this is. It says MP3 CDR RW playback. This is before uh, burnt DVDs. Look how old this is. 2002. August 2002. No HDMI. HDMI probably didn't even exist back then. Has S video only. S video and regular video. There's no coax on it, so it's probably not a cable box as well. It's probably DVD player only. Pretty neat. Look how dirty this is. It's been at other garage forever. Let's um screws. Got some on the back. One on the side here. Little one in the center almost missed. I wonder if there's a DVD in there. No. Alright, I got a screw. Let's uh see how much she weighs without all the plastic. About four and three quarter pounds. We got a power supply board and a logic board. Now these are probably silver connectors. Pretty nice looking board here. Oh, and it hides screws in the back, too. Some nice looking uh, IC chips. BGA chips. Got a crystal oscillator I'll be pulling off. Get the capacitor out of the way. And that little guy right there is a crystal oscillator. These do add up. They are worth saving. Zoran. <clears throat> Not seeing anything extremely yummy on here. I will be getting these larger these chips off here. Chisel usually makes quick work of them. We'll be saving these, adding these to the hoard. Are these BGAs? They look like BGAs. Saving this one too. And I have quite a few BGA chips in here now. They have micro connecting wires inside of them. Definitely worth saving. They do add up. They add up as you can see. Oh, that's brass. I kind of feel like picking that off. If it comes easy. I think I'm going to leave it on the board for extra weight. It'll make this green on both sides. It'll make this board, this mid-grade board, it'll make it a little heavier, make it worth a little more. This is a low-grade China board. It's probably only so screened on one side. See if there's anything good on this board.
<laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll make the wire a little heavier, make the wire worth a little more. Because wire's worth more than the circuit board. That looks like it's easy to get. The transistor. These little guys here, these are transistors. They have a copper plate inside of them. No, I just lost it. I just lost you. Gone. Nope, found it. See the copper? They got a copper plate inside of them. Those can go in your number two copper bucket. Not seeing anything else too yummy. Only silk screened on one side. Be getting the copper out of this thing. And this looks like it'll be easy to get the copper out of. Ouch. And that's all I see on here. So that's a copper bearing board. These look like you can just give them a few taps. There isn't a ton of copper on here, but it all adds up. Just kind of clean it up the best you can for the scrap yard. And get it all. Some number more number two copper. And some more number two copper. For your plug end, cut them close to the plug. You're gonna need a glove for this one. Can't tell you how many times I've stabbed myself in the hand trying to pull these things out. Got that one. Oh, I got this one. See that? I stabbed myself so many times. I'm scared now. I always wear gloves. You gotta be dumb and get hurt a few times to learn your lesson. We got some brass and some number two copper. Some number two insulated. See what's in this uh oh we got more circuit board hiding i bet i got silver contact switches some more tin for the tin bucket i was just gonna have one little switch in it smaller bit One of the best scrapping tools ever. A six in one screwdriver. So that's all this is. You throw the handle right in the garbage. I broke the LCD. Or maybe it was broken before. Or maybe I broke it. These are silver contact switches. There's a tiny little piece of silver in these. Good way to get them off is to just grab them with some pliers and twist them. There's 
some more number low grade china board, copper bearing circuit board. More number two insulated. And I know these are probably silver tipped. I should probably be saving these. But lately I've been just throwing these in with my uh, number two insulated. And all these little switches, all these little, all these little tiny switches here. They all got a little tiny bit of silver in them. grade china board these do add up I have quite a few of them and some plastic now how do I get the optic read route I see a screw Number two, insulated. Are these brass? Nope. The rods that the optic reader slide on sometimes. Sometimes they're brass. You gotta check those. We got a nice little copper bearing motor there. This is always my favorite part about scrapping, the smashing stuff. How does that come out? Put on some gloves so I don't end up bleeding everywhere. Do recommend wearing gloves. They just slow me down. Good thing about gloves is they protect your hands. And you almost feel like you're invincible when you're wearing them. This motor does not have enough copper in it for my scrapyard to consider an electric motor. So this will be copper bearing. And the same thing with this little motor. Actually, I think I'm going to throw this whole thing in my copper bearing bucket. Just the way it is. Yeah. So, there we go. That wasn't too bad. And this here, that was wrapped around that uh, transformer. That's ferrite. This can go in your tin bucket too. This sticks to a magnet. It's scrap. All these little screws can never forget about those. Let's see how we did. So we got some tin for the tin bucket. Let's see how much we got. About three pounds. I'll put the little pieces and the screws in the bucket. And these larger pieces I'll put right in my trailer. Almost three pounds. About a quarter pound of number two insulated. Yeah, I know, those are probably silver.
a little over half a pound of copper bearing. And three ounces of a mid-grade mid board. Even though when I took that stuff off of it, this is still mid-grade board. For the green bucket. The brass isn't going to register. But let's see how much uh, number two copper I got. Half an ounce. Not too bad. It all adds up. So, that wasn't too bad. A few minutes worth of work. Make a few bucks. So just remember guys, scrap is everywhere. All you gotta do is find it, sort it, and hoard it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.